Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the 2023 Nissan Versa, and we are testing the SR, although there are three different trim levels. There is some upgrades to the front and the back. It has the most safety features in the class, as well as largest cargo space, and a lot of features we're gonna show you that the competitors don't have. And best of all, this vehicle comes in under $20,000, and we'll talk about that. This is going to be a big seller for Nissan because no one else is less expensive for a new car in 2023. Let's start off with the front end. You've got your LED headlights. That is also part of the new package, the new design to make this Nissan Versa look like the other Nissans in the class. Behind this Nissan logo is the safety shield, which has a lot of the safety features for forward collision warning, which is standard on this car. Our test vehicle rides on 17-inch alloy wheels that are all-season tires. The other trim levels ride on 16-inch tires. The modern look of the Nissan Versa with its black window trim as well as black mirror caps makes this vehicle fit right in with the Nissan family and is a nice looking vehicle. Warranty is three years, 36,000 miles, and the powertrain is five years, 60,000 miles. Coming around to the back, there is some redesigned components such as this little wing here, which I think is nice, and that SR logo, which is red, to let you know you're driving the sportier trim of the Nissan Versa. LED taillights and that new Nissan logo is here. It's really nice and clean, and this vehicle does exactly what it says it can do. One thing you'll note when it comes to visibility, you put the car in reverse and you have a nice backup camera that shows you the lines, especially if you're not good at backing up. All of the buttons that are in here are also available on the side as actual buttons, real tuning and real volume, which people really like. Further down, you have your climate control, really easy to use, including that two-stage heated seating, which is on our SR trim level. Start, stop button and a standard Prindle. Behind the shifter is two cup holders, a standard parking brake, and a center console in our SR trim. I do also like the orange stitching that matches with the orange detail in this vehicle, just really nice and clean. You've got your four ways here and your vents, and then up above you also have an SOS switch, which is really nice to have. The SR comes standard with heated front seats that are two-stage for both the driver and the passenger side. The seats are manual, but that's not a problem at all because these seats are really comfortable. I drove from Fort Lauderdale to Naples and I found them to be very comfortable. Nice side bolstering and headrests are nicely sized. Really well thought out. For the price point of this vehicle, you're getting really nice seating. In the second row, you have two latch belt attachments for child safety seats with the ability to seat three across the back. I do like this red detail that is on the interior. I've set the seat for me on 5'8", and you can tell there is plenty of knee room, good for child safety seats. Behind the center console is a USB-C charger, as well as one inside the center console. There is a pocket behind the passenger door. Overall, the interior is really nice and comfortable, even the back seats, which typically are flat and uncomfortable, they've done a nice job. There is no center console armrest that comes out of the center seat, but a great place for a third person. When it comes to technology, there is a seven inch touch display that is standard with four speaker audio system, three USB ports and remote keyless entry. The S Plus package will give you Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity. It is wired and there's a USB-C and a USB connection as well as a power outlet down below and wireless charging. Lots of places to keep your devices charged. The SV adds a center console with an armrest, wireless phone charging pad, and the chambray interior color, which is what we're sitting in right now. The SR adds several sport-inspired interior options such as the leather wrapped steering wheel, a six speaker audio system, and a remote eight inch start. The eight inch touchscreen, so it's a one inch larger in the SR versus the S or the SV, is also touchscreen, intelligent cruise control, automatic climate control, as well as Wi-Fi hotspot and Nissan connected services. In front of you, you've got your Nissan steering wheel with your normal controls. This adjusts all the items in the instrument cluster in front of you, which is partially digital. That's your audio. And this is your cruise control with your safety features, which I have played with while on the highway and it's really easy to use. So when you touch the button on the left side of the steering wheel, you can have a tachometer and how much fuel is left in the tank. We're about halfway through your audio system and your settings there. And then of course your fuel economy. In this case, I've been idling, so it's not really fair because it's like 96 degrees outside. 
then you've got all your driving information. When you go to your settings, you'll find that driver assistance settings. That's your safety features that you can adjust as you wish, whether that be blind spot detection, emergency braking, parking aids, driver attention, and a timer alert, low temperature alert. All of this is right here on the steering wheel and super easy to use. In the center, you've got your safety features so you can see if you want blind spot on or off. It's that simple and the center screen right here will show you the safety features if you're outside the lines. Really nice to have, as well as all the rest of your information and an actual speedometer gauge, which is great, because for some reason, the digital stuff doesn't work at some point and down the road. If you're buying this car and it's 20 years old, you will be able to know what your speed limit is, and that is not true with all vehicles. On the left side of the steering wheel, you've got a vent, more of that nice stitching, a little storage area, and a lock for your gas door, which is much appreciated, as well as for the hood. There is no memory seating settings, but there is power window lifts, as well as mirrors. Plenty of storage in the passenger door, as well as the driver's door for larger containers. There's also a good size glove box for the owner's manual or whatever you'd like to put in there. There is no sunroof available for this vehicle. Under the hood is a standard 1.6 liter double overhead cam four cylinder engine that's on all trim levels with 122 horsepower and 114 pound feet of torque. Paired with a five speed manual transmission and the S only, or you can get the Xtronic CVT transmission, which is optional on the S and standard on the SV and the SR. Fuel economy is 32 miles to the gallon in the city and 40 on the highway. That's 35 miles to the gallon combined with the CVT. It comes front wheel drive only and the S Plus rides on 16-inch tires, the SR on 17. So inside the Nissan Versa SR, the first thing you're going to notice is that this vehicle is really easy to drive. It doesn't have the best of acceleration, but it's really not designed for that. It's meant for commuting, for your daily driving, you know, getting around town, but it does have a lot of positives to this vehicle. Uh, the safety devices that are standard on this are really, really nice. This is the Nissan Safety Shield, I believe they call it. All the safety features are here in the screen in front of you. We went through that in technology. It's a pretty basic car, but I'll tell you, if you're thinking about getting a vehicle for a new driver or someone who just needs a utilitarian product to get them from place to place, this is more than enough. Based on the price, you're getting amazing value, which I think is really important when you're buying a vehicle like this. So we're here on the highways in Florida and we'll also take it on some of the back roads. The handling is nicely balanced. I mean, this is obviously, like I said, not a race car. It's got a small engine in it. It gets phenomenal fuel economy. I drove it from Fort Lauderdale to Naples, Florida, and not a problem. We won't talk about my speed. We'll just say it was good enough. And it got me there in a very stable at high speeds, which is really important. Uh, just driving it around town, it, it gives you confidence, especially if you're not a confident driver and you want something that makes you feel that like you're getting all the safety, you've got good visibility as well. Uh, side view mirrors are nice size, looking out the back is great, and you have the ability to haul five people. So if you're thinking about something that does the trick for you and you're, I got 15 grand or 16 grand, and should I buy used or new? I'd buy this vehicle. It's new and you get the warranty and you get the newest of safety. And turn signals quiet too. Little things that make you want to buy a car. One thing that I do like about this vehicle is when you're driving 50 miles an hour and you need to pass, in this case, everybody in traffic here is doing like 80. I'm doing 80 and I'm being passed, but this is pretty typical of a Florida turnpike. Uh, if you're at 70 and you want to go to 80, no problem accelerating. It has really nice mid-range performance. When it comes to cargo space, there is 14.7 cubic feet of storage, which is the largest in the class. There is also a temporary spare, which a lot of the competitors do not offer. The best thing about the 2023 Nissan Versa is the price, starting at $15,800, which is great. Go to the SR, which is our trim package, and you're at $19,820. If you want to get the automatic transmission, that'll bring you to $17,500, still 
amazing value compared to the competitors, which aren't even close to this. But there are a lot of pros and cons to this vehicle that you need to know about. Starting with the build quality is excellent. The interior materials are great, standard safety, standard technology, and enough performance and great fuel economy up to 40 miles to the gallon, depending on your trim level, that makes this vehicle really, really nice. Now, the only negative is this thing is a little bit underpowered, but truthfully, this is exactly in the sweet spot. It is a well-built vehicle with great standard features and more cargo space than any of its competitors. And that would be such as the Kia Rio or a Mini Cooper. There's a few other small cars that are available in this price point and really limits you to what's available. The 2023 Nissan Versa is a perfect daily driver. It's a great starter car for anyone who just wants something to do the job and they're not a car enthusiast. If you are, Nissan offers other products as do the competitors. We have driven all the competitors. You can check that out on our channel. If you have any additional questions about the Nissan Versa that we did not cover, put that in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer your questions. And if you have one of these or you're going to buy one, we'd like to hear your thoughts. And if you didn't buy it, what did you buy? If you'd like to support our channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link for that is in the description, as well as for the website, the podcast, and our social media. If you like this video, make sure to share this, like it, hit that little bell for subscriptions because we drive a lot of cool cars. It gives you car smarts, first looks of new vehicles, and of course, car reviews. Thank you so much for watching. We'll look forward to seeing you next time.